David Gonzardo is an Aileron client and the CEO of Alternate Solutions Home Care. You'll hear about his experiences building and using a system that measures employee performances. He'll go into the key components of his successful system and how these changes impacted his organization. Aileron asked me to come up and talk today just simply because I've grabbed a hold of one thing that they've taught me and I've expanded on it for about four years and they feel this one system that I've got a pretty good way of doing it and I just want to share with you how we do it in our organization but the perspective is and what I'm hoping for is is that my system isn't perfect but what it may do is spark ideas of how you may want to improve your performance systems. When we started, we were, uh, I would say, our organization in 1999, there was a couple of us, and we kind of have grown through the years. Today, we have offices in the Dayton area, in Cincinnati, in Columbus. We're about ready to open up in Cleveland. Uh, we have about 400 full-time equivalent employees. Uh, we have about 700 W-2s that we send out every, every year and we take care of several thousand patients. About one third of our staff is internally inside our organization and two thirds of our staff is out caring for our patients. So one of the challenges that we have as an organization is how do we communicate and create a performance system for a disconnected staff? So that's one thing that, that we have a lot of um, challenges with because most of our people are out. They're not inside our offices. I don't get to see them on a daily basis. So we help create the system. And that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea about alternate solutions. And what I'd like to do is tell you about what our uh, employee performance standards are and what that means to me and those types of things. Employee performance standard is something I came up with to measure every one of our staff members um, on how well they're doing and give them constant feedback. Um, some people do that through a yearly evaluation. Some people do that quarterly. We do it on a weekly basis. One of my mentors, Bill Matthews, said one thing to me, and it's always stuck with me. And every time I'd ask him a question, he'd say, David, it's all about the people. Bill said that to me. I, I am a student of the game. And what I mean by that is I'm an absolute passionate learner, researcher, and I will not stop until I get answers. I don't care how many people I gotta ask. I don't care how many people I gotta call. I read enormously. I go and listen to the top thought leaders in the country. I take anybody I can out to lunch. In my industry, I'll give you an example. I will fly across the country to find the people who are the very best in my industry and say, look, I know you're the best at what you're doing in this particular area. We'll, if I come up, and take you to lunch, will you share with me how you do it? I am not a competitor of yours. I want to know how you do it. And I've had that happen over and over and over again. And people share with me and I take these ideas back. And I'll tell you one thing that I've come to realize. Bill Matthews is right. It's all about the people. I think one of the main differences in why companies are successful versus ones that aren't, it's simply the people that are inside your organization that make the difference. With that being said, we're all leaders of our organization in one way or another. It is our responsibility, in my opinion, to go the extra mile, to go the extra effort, to get a system in place that gives people feedback on how they're doing or how they're not doing. I had to admit I had a problem. I'm responsible for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people's lives and their family members and all the things they're doing. I had to put a system in place because my system was terrible. I couldn't even retain 25% of my own staff. That's how bad I was. I was turning people, I was a hiring machine. I hired people like it was just the only job I had. How many people can I get in? How many ads can I run into paper? Let's get more people, more people. I can produce more people. But I couldn't produce the results I needed. When we started our journey, and I mentioned this here, there was a lot of uncertainty and discontent um, among our employees. Our results were terrible in comparison to every one of our competitors. And the neat part about our industry is, is I found ways to get competitive information, to know how I'm doing in comparison to people that look or have a similar type business that I do. 
we were terrible. We had high turnover. I told you we were barely able to retain 25% of our staff on a yearly basis. This discontent, I mean, talk, I, I call it the circle of destruction. Um, and what happens is, is that someone would get angry at another employee and then they go outside and they, they if they want to smoke or whatever they're doing out there and, and they start this kind of back and forth, back and forth. Can you believe what Janice did, blah, 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 and they kind of talk about it and they go back in the office and it just be, creates this big fight all the time. And then we had lots of turnover, lots of chatter, a lot of back talk. Our, our company wasn't doing things right. They didn't have systems in place. They were going to cheat us out of a bonus here or there. You know, the, the top management, they were going to get fired. There weren't going to be people around long enough, so don't worry about it. You didn't like that person, we'll gang up on them, and they're going to be gone before too long anyway. We were spending huge amounts of time and resources um, to engage and hire new staff. I was hiring more people to hire more people. I told you we were a hiring machine. It was incredible. I mean, we literally were, were interviewing and hiring 15, 20 people a day. Just constant. I mean, it's, it's a machine. Um, some of our employees are very um, low income earners. They earn minimum wage. And, you know, they, they go out and they do this home health aid type services. It's a very difficult job, number one. And, and number two, it's, it's hard to get people to, to want to do that type of work. Um, so, what happened? I quit is basically what, what we ran into a lot with these poor results. So I said, how am I going to get better? You know, that, that was the, I think, one of the keys to what we need to do. And again, I had to admit that I was doing something wrong, number one. I am responsible. David, not this is Al's job, who's our CFO, not Linda, who our, is our Director of Organizational Development, who heads up HR. It's Linda's fault. It's not Linda's fault. It's David's fault. David is responsible. David needs to make the change. So I went out and I started asking everybody that I could, tell me how to do it. I told you about how I go out and I get ideas from people. I want to know how to be better. I read books constantly. I've told you this. I went over and over and over again. I ask our employees. We got great feedback. I love some of the feedback. My, one of my favorites was, yeah, just give me more money. I'll perform better. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Throw money at it. Others said, you know what? It'd be nice if you'd recognize me. You know? I, I do more than everybody else in my position, but yet I get paid the same. You never recognize me personally. You never stand up in front of an all-staff meeting and say, I did a great job. Sometimes for me, it's just saying, you did a great job thought, okay. And others said, you know what, I, I've got a lot of talent. But the problem is you asked me to do something and it's new to me. It, no one's ever trained me on it. I've got to kind of learn this on my own. And that's really difficult. It'd be nice if you could provide some training for me. So I thought about all these things and I said, you know, now I've got piles of information. What am I going to do? I've got no idea. Again, I'm just writing stuff down. I'm thinking, Maybe something's going to fly out of the sky and some miracle's going to happen. I'm going to get an answer. Well, I kept searching. 